What's going on, everybody? Captain Robert and crew here for the after show, episode 24. We're out of combat. Thank goodness. <laughs> I love that. And we're all alive somehow. <laughs> At the end of last week, I was like, I'm dead. I'm dead. We're dead. We're dead. <laughs> I really was. Like, no exaggeration. Because they haven't even had their turn yet at that time, and two of yeah. you were already down. Oh, yeah. Two uh -huh. down, and they hadn't even gone. Like, Reginald somehow oh, survived. Yeah. We still have Reggie. Reggie's punch as well, even if I didn't try to heal him. <laughs> honestly, honestly, I'm so glad that that convincing worked, because the Brom's justification for not killing him is great, and even at that moment in time, it's one of these... It, it's it's a really interesting call for the entire party to make, but like, God damn, I'm so glad that that one worked out. And it was a strong line to try and beat too. So yeah. like, but that's why you roll dice, man. Like. You make it fun. You lay down the story and then go, let's toss some dice. Nat 20. Easy. Speaking of twenties. <laughs> yeah. Let Can we talk for a second? Biddy, a one phase the boss, one turn the boss. <laughs> Oh, I didn't even realize that. Yeah, I did. You one turn the boss. Yeah, <laughs> the big boss from full health to dead in your turn. You did like 200 damage. Yeah. I, I, I almost <laughs> deaded me in the process, but I didn't. Well, and that one to that 20 saved me. Because there were so many different things on this, there wasn't a boss that had... 250, 300, 350 hit points. Instead, it was 200, 200, 100, 100, 100. So it made that made that possible. A lot of times when I have one singular larger boss, they're gonna be a little bit more. But in this case, it was perfect. It, would, it was the perfect bitty storm. Itty bitty critic committee strikes again. But the rolls mm -hmm. for everybody were so good. Rolls over like, the- Grom, Grom was killing it. Nah, I'd never roll that kind of average on D8s. No, you don't. <laughs> never. I had 30 healing almost every time. I'm usually like, everyone gets yeah. 13. Put the healing. That was, yeah. no, it was awesome. Yeah. Numbers, numbers were high across the board. They had a lot of advantage. They didn't roll bad until the, the last round as far as the enemies uh, and their concern. Yeah. Had the terrifying crits echo. in there. Yeah, how your echo survived. Lucky. Sometimes it is yeah. like Matrix and shit. <laughs> you never well, know. If they had killed her, I wouldn't have been able to swap at all. Mm -hmm. Like I would have had to do some kind of athletics, acrobatics, whatever to try to climb up there, but that would have taken a whole turn basically. <laughs> so I'm gonna write an index card out because now your turn is so ridiculous, Biddy, with things that trigger. I'm going to do a little, I'm going to do a small little document that's like pew, 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 because it's ridiculous. You have so many oh, extra shoot, added shoot. dice uh, that's just silly because of the new items that you've got. We were able to get some amazing ones. Yeah. Thanks for all the extra hits mm -hmm. on accident. <laughs> <laughs> Probably about roughly 20-ish extra damage. Pretty negligible. Uh, yeah. Pretty I negligible. My big concern on the loot front was was you and Glam on that front because I sat there and I was like, if I die with Glam's book, I don't know if that that's in trouble. So like that was a thing, and I also in the back of my head was like, you know, this is great and all, but Brom hasn't gotten Jack from this. <laughs> like, what's he gonna get at the end of this if we survive? <laughs> oh well, I guess we'll find out. And lo and behold, <laughs> hammer yeah, time! Whoa, was... whoa. At first, I kind of felt bad that Xanran didn't get an item, but then I remembered you went for Cyan like two oh, yeah. episodes ago. <laughs> I, was not, I wasn't expecting anything at that point. I was very happy to sit there and be like, look, listen, there's, there's some absolute bullshit that's been pulled here. <laughs> like, no. Yeah. Yeah, I went off. I, I, I literally went off the, the top items that the community had given you, uh, <laughs> given you all. And I had, uh, you know, I had what was great. Biddy, like you were getting that breastplate regardless and it was just so fitting like i was like oh my god this is so good like not only not only were you going to get this piece of armor right off the top but now it's like yeah i mean that is yours you claimed it like this you'll always remember destroying this forge master. master it's <gasps> i that's so cool <sighs> 
so cool. Oof. That was really cool. I think that's the coolie, coolest that Biddy's ever been. And Biddy's been pretty cool a few times. Biddy's like, done dope shit, but that's... It's, it's I don't know if I can really, top yeah. that. That was wild. Mm -hmm. You... Yeah. Every time I rolled one, I was like, oh, this one's going to be, like, real bad the <laughs> next time. And it kept happening. I was like, whoa! You devoured them. <laughs> I think there was a point at which you and I were both just completely speechless and our hands in front of our mouths like this, like, it, it's happened again. Like, oh my god. <laughs> it's the best storytelling I think I've ever seen out of Dice. I also Holy love shit. that we found out we got uh, drunken Robert and PC pets. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, I fucking, I fucking, I buffed those things in extra time and I absolutely shouldn't have. They were doing like 50 points of damage on... They need to be. They need to be where I put them when I was sober at about average thirty is where they should have been. And then you know I was like, man, it's getting hot in here. <laughs> I hope some of these dice bail me out. And they did. They did. As I'm slowly dying <laughs> in that GCX session. I yeah. just remember you sitting there being like in the episodes that followed on that second nat 20 with the naming being like I made these real strong and it's like <laughs> yeah you did and I imagine there's a little tinge of regret there <laughs> hey you earned it you earned that that uh that utility man mm. and it came in handy because it was doing 50 <laughs> around 50 points of damage plus so it was able to eat a little bit and it was doing, you know, piercing and uh and bludgeoning, get it, getting around it. I enjoyed uh I enjoyed your RP, Jacob, of doing the uh you know the 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 turning it to stone and making it making oh, yeah. it cool. Like your scenes of like of uh of kind of like going full it on it was really cool. I dug that. Yeah, well, you know, warlock is not the most uh, interesting of classes, so it, it requires a lot of flavor. True. You do otherwise it really it, well. Otherwise, it's just Eldritch Blast over and over again. Mm -hmm. I'm All depends on your utility, <laughs> Millen. That's the, that's the life of a warlock. Oh my god, Biddy! Awesome if y'all could just like yell, yell at each other, you know, like a. <laughs> I don't know if you've seen the new new season of The Boys, but there's essentially. I haven't yet. A uh, character that does what your armor does, and it's dope. Because it looks, oh. in my mind, that's exactly what it looks like. Oh my Very God, cool. That made it like five times more awesome in my head. <laughs> oh, <shit. laughs> I need to catch up then. I got well, two weeks. That you know, I, I I view it as the same way the uh, the heat wave, like the explosion. It's like. You're you're raising like it's being in this scene again and commanding those elements around you, and it all bursts from that fire elemental that's in that scorned heart breastplate. Very very cool. I can't wait to see like all of these things in action next time, but knowing what you've given us, it just reminds me that everything's going to be more difficult. Power <laughs> <laughs> yeah, creep. Yeah. The hammer, the the crit hammer is going to be awesome. People yeah. are going to be fight. <laughs> Everyone's going to be around Braum these days. Just remember, if we crit on 19s and 18s, the bad guys start critting on 16s. Trust me. <laughs> I've never oh. gone, never gone that bad. No, that's uh, pretty bad. <laughs> that would be fucked up. <laughs> I mean, I'd probably, I'd probably get up and walk away. <laughs> that's where no you go. What's the chance? Did they just reroll fives? <laughs> on a D8? I'm fucking out of here, okay? Yep. This is bullshit. <laughs> yeah. You said my my spell DC is 22 now, right? So I can be, I'm ringing the bell on a 22 save with yeah. 3 D12 damage. You're as bad as Jacob five. now. That's a Welcome. cantrip. I can just like, I'm Welcome just to the show. ringing the bell, baby. Mm -hmm. Ring that bell. Mm -hmm. Three Nelson's stepping up. 3D12 oh, yeah. plus five on that bad boy. Almost, almost a given yeah. on it. Gives you yeah. it, it gives you some utility. Hey, listen, you could do what I did, and when you finally get that meta magic uh, feat, you can go ahead and take heightened spell and give them disadvantage on the deck saves. Ooh, it's a whiz save, which is I know, but better. when you when you have your deck saves, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Mm. God damn, I, I think I do love that so much more for you as well, Glam, because the book giving you the knowledge of those spells means that it frees you up to choose others if you wanted to 
Yeah, I, that's, gonna, I wanted to clarify right? that, but I yes. wanted to make sure that would free up my spell slots, that's right? So freeze, can... freeze them up. Yeah. Oh my god, and, dude. And for you, that's huge, because you are... I, I, I'll sit here and I'll go on a limb and say you're the most inventive player at the table when it comes to, like, using weird stuff of your spells in order to do things, or using odd bits of your kit, like mimicry, for example, you know? Like, who would have thought to do that role way, way, way back when? And you getting all those new spells that you can now just have and are yeah. either prepared or learned, you are going to have a whole new arsenal that you're going to unleash on people. It, I can't it, wait to see that. It definitely frees a lot of stuff up, especially if I can rely on things like Toll for DPS, you know, then I can, like, every utility spell in the book I can get for whatever situation. It'll be great. It's going to be mm. great. Thank you, benevolent DM. <laughs> yes. <laughs> And at, at this point, you've uh, you've been around so much. You have just a collection of of uh, of bones really at your uh, at your at your dispense. So you're not really going to be required to have to have one of the enemies go down anymore. You can start just rolling bones out and tossing skellies or zombies mm -hmm. at at will now. I like to have it yeah. build up to that where it like starts and then like over time you've harvested so much, you just have the components then to be able to unleash like you would in Diablo. Yeah. I can cast animate dead now at level six. Oh damn, that's a lot of dead guys. Which is I think five dead guys. Yeah, something like that. Six additional so seven it's time for a horde <laughs> and i have dance macabre yeah. oh yeah that's, so all of them are stronger <laughs> yeah and, baby and if one of them gets a hit you've got the thing where they go on and they can grab the next <gasps> guy <laughs> i love it because i have it undead. I have it all queued up. I just have your undead things folder. I just drag them over. Randomizes the HP too. So some of them you get strong. Some are, uh, some are average. You never know what's going to pop in. Yeah. Well, we'll see. You know, we just had a combat with, you know, a bunch of things at 100 HP and up. Maybe we'll get one that's like a lot of things that are like 50 HP and down. Stud zombie. <laughs> I'm excited. I'm sad. We uh we got a holiday break because I'm ready I'm ready to venture in the cave more but it's okay it's gonna I make it too. palpable it'll mm. make it palpable if uh if you guys want to uh to do anything uh, and like go over your sheets or anything next week during that period of time and like maybe sort loot or get things in foundry I will be available to do so hell yeah hell yeah. Cause I'll be chilling here. I, uh, for some reason I thought it was like, Oh, I'm not gonna have any D and D next week. No, I got all my shows. So I will be here. Dope session. Loved it. Appreciate everybody for joining us. We'll see you in two. Let's love y'all. Y'all are amazing. <laughs>